everyone, welcome on this cold, cold morning to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve, I am a drone pilot, which essentially means I can fly unmanned objects in the air like this thing I'm pointing at. This is the Bell 206 Heli and it's an RC Heli made out of fiberglass and apparently it flies beautifully. So we're going to try that out in this video. Now this is version 3 of the Bell 206 and if you bought version 1 or version 2, you're wondering what's different in version 3. If you didn't buy a version 1 or version 2, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. So let me explain this really quick what the differences would be. In version 3, you can see up front here that the canopy is now see-through. It's all molded plastic with see-through windows, which is nice. In the previous one, it was just black paint, which wasn't too good. Some venting holes back here, which really looks good. A lot more decals or designs on it. Even the tail is very, very modern. It's very nice. It's a very nice design. The swash plate's been upgraded. The GPS in this is the same GPS as in the Huey, I believe, that came out. The last Huey I reviewed. Uh, which is awesome. You don't have to do a compass calibration or anything. You just turn it on and it flies. It's really good. It is radio controlled. It comes with a beautiful remote control and this is a remote you can use in the RC hobby. All the switches come pre-labeled so it's it's beginner proof. And by beginner proof I mean that if you know nothing about flying anything this flies like a drone. The only thing about it is it's scary because it's got these huge carbon fiber blades that spin around and can really do some damage. I will say though it doesn't weigh very much. I'm quite impressed with it. it comes with batteries you can get one two or three batteries so i have the battery here 3000 milliamp hour lipo battery you're supposed to get 20 minutes of flight time that's like unheard of on rc helicopters of this size but it is 20 minutes of flight time it is a cold morning it's minus three degrees celsius i'll put what that is in fahrenheit up here but you know what I'm in Canada. This is what's to be expected in the fall season. We're going to have snow pretty soon. We've got frost all over the grass. It's, it's pretty cold out. But the good thing is, is this is a Bell helicopter and Bell helicopters are made in Canada, not too far from me in Mirabelle, which is in the province of Quebec. And this is one of their helicopters. Well, they didn't make this RC one, but they make the real ones. This RC one is made by Flywing, who makes all sorts of phenomenal RC helicopters. So I'm going to put a link to their website below. You can go check it out. This one, I got from RC going and it came in a really nice box and very well packaged it was like double packaged super good so enough chit chat let's fly this now to explain the flights there's a beginner mode which I like to fly in which is GPS mode so there's a GPS in here it will get all the satellites and it will sit still in the air it has altitude hold it's really simple to fly you go forwards backwards side to side any way you want it looks really cool because it's big just keep it away from other humans it also has some automatic features where it can do an automatic circle or figure eight at any height you want so you have to be careful with that because if you do it at human height you know like shoulder height or knee height and it starts doing a circle or figure eight it's coming at you so uh, you might want to do that higher up in the sky i'll show you that in the video here then for people that can fly really well which is not me because i'm known for crashing helicopters when i try to fly really well uh, it does have a normal manual 3d mode in other words you can fly this just like you would fly a normal helicopter huge banking on the sides and everything like that but i'm not good at flying it like that so i might get jedi steve to fly it although he doesn't like the cold so i don't know if he'll pop out here today to fly it we'll see that but let's get this going it's really simple to set up so I've got a GoPro hat on. You just take your remote and you make sure all the switches are pushed away from you. Because if you don't, the remote's gonna complain. So I'll push all the switches to the front. There we go. Hold down these two power buttons and it comes to life. It makes a beautiful sound. And down here, you might not be able to see it, but if I turn this way, you can. You can see the whole display. Now, what you wanna see is where it says TX, that's transmitter. A radio is called the transmitter and you wanna see a huge black bar shooting out. So looking at this, I see a huge black bar on the TX, but on the RX, which is called receiver and the receivers in the helicopter, I see nothing. So when you power on the helicopter, you have to see a black bar on the RX as well. And that means they're connected. Right out of the box, they are designed to connect. They're all bound together at the factory. So there's no issue there. All right, we just put the battery in next to pull the canopy off. You pull the switch down and you pull the canopy off. It's that simple. My GoPro can see what's inside. And over here is an XT60 connector for our battery. So let's put our battery in this tiny little one that comes with it. 20 minutes out of this thing. It's a four cell battery. But that's pretty impressive. I will say this Velcro strap you see here, this white one, I stuck that there because it doesn't come with a Velcro strap. They say you don't need one, but I put it on anyways, just in case I bang this around. Then the next thing you do is just plug in your battery 
There we go. They connect together. This thing will do a little dance. I'll stare at it while it does its dance. It's going to go whoop, whoop, whoop. The swash plate's going to move any second now. There we go. It's doing its dance. And that means it's pretty much all set to go. I'm going to aim mine this way because I want the tail to face me. So first thing to show you is right here. I don't know if you can see it in my GoPro, but the RX now has a black bar going all the way over to the side. So that's good. Second thing is up here. It says home. You want to put that on GPS mode. We're good. Leave this switch on the normal leave this one here so it's on normal and leave this one here so it's on off or whatever to stop next on the flight controller you want to see a green light that tells you that you should have gps and you're ready to take off so we're ready to go it's very fast at getting gps it's a very modern system in here hey we have jedi steve coming there he is oh there she is no, it's, it's very pretty looking yes it's, it's bad well they nice. got the clear windows now too which helps yeah clear windows and yeah. uh lots of detail on it and you wouldn't believe how light it is it doesn't weigh very much oh that was one of the issues apparently on the v1 that was a little heavy but yeah, this one's really light. Oh, it looks very good. Steve, I'm going to take it for a flight in GPS mode, and then after I'll let you take it for a flight in manual mode. How's that Ooh. sound? All right, here we go. All right, so to make this fly with GPS and everything, uh, I'm going to do it by the book. You take these joysticks, you pull down and out like that. Hold them for five, so count five. One, two, three, four, five. Release, then put this on run. It should spin up. There we go. And always have your finger ready to kill that run if it's going to go wonky. I say that and watch me goof it up. All right. Now that it's spinning fast and sliding all over the place. Sounds good, Steve. Should I take it up? Uh, go for it. Here we go. Going up. And there we are in GPS mode. And she hovers beautifully. Let me just bring it back this way. But uh, this is what she looks like in the sun in GPS. I'm just walking around it. It is a gorgeous looking helicopter. Oh, I forgot to turn on my light. Hang on, I gotta land it. I gotta bring it down. I have a little light I stuck on the bottom. I wanna turn it on. Hang on. Okay, so to land it, I just hold the left joystick down, hit the run. There we go, it kills, kills the motor. And then what I do is uh, wait for the props to stop spinning so I don't get Swiss cheese fingers. My little blinky light. There we go. Let's put it over back on the bat. I'm going to show you return to home, but since I've messed it up and moved it and everything, return to home may not work as well, but I'll show you. Okay, same idea again. Make sure she's in GPS mode. Joysticks down and out. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Hit the run button. And then stand back. And then listen to the sound. And as it gets up to like full power, that's when you move the left joystick up. So there we go, that's full power now. We're going up. There we are. And my blinky light is working. So we'll go this way. Into the sun, blind all of us. I'll stay away from it, Jedi Steve. I'm keeping it close because I have cameras over there. I just want to show you how well it flies. This is GPS, altitude hold mode. There we go. Now let me show you the part I said you have to be careful of. So I'll put it on the figure eight first. It's gonna do its figure eight at that altitude. Now I'm not touching the joysticks, it's going by itself, but it's gonna come at Jedi Steve and myself. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get out of the way because it's gonna wanna turn towards me. So I'm gonna go, it's gonna wanna turn. See, it's gonna turn back. So I'll just stay out of the way. It's coming back to do its eight. All automatic. And I'll get out of the way. There we go. Okay, so I'll turn it back to normal. It will stop doing that. There we go. And I'll show you the last one, which is a circle. So I'll put it on circle, old fly, right now. It's gonna do a nose in circle. So it's just gonna go around in circles with the nose pointing inwards. So this is, again, why I say if you keep it at this height, it's gonna come at you as it's doing the circle. So just be quite careful. There we go. They make these for beginners, but there's no setting to stop it from uh, crashing into you. So let me go back to normal and let's try the return to home. I'll take it up. Put it over there. Okay, so our heli's away over there. It automatically goes into return to home if the battery's low or it loses signal, but I'm going to do it manually. So I just take this button, flick it all the way up. Home. It should go up and then come back to some place where it took off. Coming back. I'll get back here so you can see it coming down. It's doing it automatically. I'm not doing anything. 
I'll get close. This is an automatic return to home. When it lands, I believe it will shut itself off. I don't think I have to hit the run switch, but we'll find out. It landed. It turns itself off. There we go. Pretty awesome, eh? Okay, so next what we're gonna do is Jedi Steve, who's over there, is gonna fly it next in manual mode. You've placed that switch from GPS to 3D, correct? Correct. All right, well, you're all set then. Let me just uh, get a shot of our little heli over here. All right, Steve, anytime you want. All right. So this is manual mode and uh, fingers crossed it goes well. No GPS happening now. Whoa, there he goes. Beautiful. All right, Steve, give me your thoughts. What do you think? So far, so good. I still need a little more stick time, but so far <laughs> it responds very well. Oh, you can get it to hover nice, and that's without GPS, nice. Yeah, all manual. Okay, Steve, while you're flying, give me your thoughts. She's, uh, she's very responsive. Um, compared to the Yui, she's, uh, she's just a little more uh, touchy, but that might just be me being cold. So, <laughs> but uh, so far I like it. It looks very good. It doesn't feel heavy, which was one of the complaints apparently of the older model. Yeah, this one here is supposed to be uh, much lighter and yeah. it feels very light when I yeah. lift it. The clear windows I really like compared to the old tinted windows that I've seen on the old one. Uh, looks more scale, which is something I really appreciate. Okay, Steve, there's a little camera on the back. Yep. So if you want to take it a little bit farther in a different direction, go right ahead. Okay. Well, it looks like you're going, uh, you're flying a bit faster now. Yep. Well, I'm getting used to it, so getting okay. a little more uh, bold with it. Yeah. No surprises, it does what I want it to do, so it's always a good thing. There we go. Nice flight. Back in one piece, that's the way I like it. Okay, Steve. Your final thoughts? Final thoughts, I give it two thumbs up. Very good. Uh, no complaints. Another good model from, uh, what's the company again? Flywig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box if you buy this baby. So check this out. Now, the great thing is that when I received my box, it was actually a box inside a box. And inside that box, the contents look like this. This version of the helicopter looks stunning. I love the graphics and I really like the paint. This gray metallic fleck paint looks awesome. Of course, you also receive a very nice Hobby RC radio and that radio does take four AA batteries, not included. The ready to fly kit does come with a 3000 milliamp hour 4S LiPo battery and battery charger. Now, if you wanna change the parameters in the flight controller on your helicopter, you get this super long USB-C cable so you can attach it to your computer. A multi Allen key tool is also provided so you can attach the blades on the helicopter. And finally, a quick start guide is provided. So you're back to us. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on flying this in GPS mode and beginner mode, which you saw me do with the doing a circle, doing a figure eight, altitude hold, return to home, everything. It is awesome. It's phenomenal. As a beginner with no skills, zero, you can fly this. It's really, really easy to fly, but just be careful of those little blades. They can cause a mark on your face or something like that. You don't want that. And uh, 
But Steve, you flew it in manual mode, yep. so no assistance from GPS, nothing. And from from my point of view, it looked like it was flying really well. Yeah, uh, like all the other Flywings uh, helicopter that I've flown before with you, uh, no surprises really. It's very, very controllable. Uh, if you know how to fly manually with any other helicopter, you'll have zero issues with this. It's, uh, it's stable, it's predictable. It's a big ship, but it flies very light and uh, love the looks of it. Yeah, I was just going to say the looks. That's one thing I didn't think I would like this as much as I like it. But this version 3, by putting the graphics all over it as they have done. And clear windows. And clear windows. My God, it looks, it yeah, looks it just looks incredible. Yep. And when it was flying in the air, hopefully the camera picked it up. It looked really good yeah, it, in my eyepiece. So, can't go uh, wrong with red, right? No, no. <laughs> We're going to have to bring this out in the wintertime with the snow because it will really stand out. Yep. All right, guys. Links to this product are below. I got mine from RC Going. And it came packaged, as you saw in the unboxing and double box so there's no way this could get damaged that was really good so i'm going to put links to rc going below go check it out uh you can get it with one battery two batteries or three batteries or use your own batteries if you want to save some money so with all that said i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you steve <laughs> and, uh, we'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews until then <laughs> until then bye <laughs>